If there is any entity that has benefited from the constitution, it is the political parties. They have benefited more than any. They are the biggest beneficiaries. Over 30 years since the inception of the 1992 constitution, there have been calls for a review to tackle issues of misuse of power by some key organs of government and to in turn prove better leadership in the country. Legal practitioner David Ofusudote explains the constitution in itself requires very little amendment. I don't believe that the constitution should be amended completely. And when I do the score on what the constitution itself gets, I give the constitution itself a very high mark. My problem is that the culture of the people who use the constitution is such that they find any way to abuse. Now, there is no law in the world, absolutely no law, including the constitution, which is so good enough to prevent evil-minded people from doing that which is wrong. On the economy, he criticized governments for the numerous levies imposed on the citizenry. It sounds as if that Ghanaians have no right to earn net income or disposable income. And that any time we seem to be improving in our income, we must be levied with something that will enable us to take the levy and we take the money and give it to persons that we kill to elect every four years so that they will make our lives better and they end up making our lives worse. Now, individual corporate and corporate citizens cannot be said to be prospering if every money that they get is taken away from them. My first recommendation, Mr. Mr. Chairman, is that we ought to be thinking of an upper limit beyond which governments cannot tax us. He further addressed issues concerning the powers of the president. There's been a lot of debate as to whether the term of office is okay or not, whether it should be prolonged. In fact, one president during his last speech actually said we should prolong or extend the term. I totally disagree. My main concern at this stage, though, has to do with the appointments the president is giving power to give. And if you look at Article 70 and align it with 195, you will see that he has power to keep just appointing and increasing the public sector as much as they can. Despite the hung parliament, lawyer of Osudota says it remains the most failed organ of government. The legislature, but I think it is the most failed of the organs of the constitution, completely failed. I've already talked about the fact that even 137, 137 didn't change anything. You are supposed to hold the executive in check. And I don't need to explain anymore that. But we keep increasing the number to 275 now. And the emoluments keep increasing. The lecture was on the theme, the 1992 constitution, a fundamental law for our prosperity or a well-crafted guide for economic doom.